Hi, you guys. My name is Wendy. Welcome to Shine. This is where we are going to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's word and learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. I'm so glad you're here with us. There are a lot of friends here with us today. And if you're watching, then you're a friend too, whether you're a big kid or a little kid or a kid at heart. You know God, can't, uh, God is with us even when we can't be together at church. So we're going to start off right away by celebrating that we all have this little light inside and it's brightest when we shine together. Okay, everybody up. Parents, you too. It up again with a spark. The spark caught fire in my heart And I can see it lighting up the dark And now it's burning brighter than ever It's down deep in my soul The fire burning out of control It's love and I gotta let it show It's changing my world for the better So raise one hand high Throw your light in the sky We're gonna keep it shining forever Oh, oh. It's brightest when we're shining Today, I wanted to share some really exciting news with you. We have a wedding coming up in our family. A wedding is a very special celebration. Now, last July, my oldest daughter got married. Here's a picture from her wedding. You probably already know that the girl getting married is called the bride, and the boy getting married is called the groom. When people get married, they pick a day, and they do make a lot of plans and they invite guests that they want to come and celebrate with them. There's so much to do to get ready for a wedding. And my family has another one coming up in just a few weeks. My oldest son is getting married, so they had to pick a day and pick a time and send invitations to everyone that they hope will come. And they plan for a special meal and a party after the wedding called the reception. It's a lot of work, but the big day is almost here. 
Today's gospel story has a wedding in it. A long time ago, when Jesus was on earth, weddings were pretty different than the ones we have today. But there are some things about weddings that are the same today as they were back then. The bride and the groom have friends to help them get ready. The bride's friends are called bridesmaids and they help her plan the celebration. Maybe they help her pick out a wedding dress. And on the day of the wedding, they stand beside her and support her. And you're gonna hear a story today about a bride who had 10 bridesmaids. It's a parable that Jesus told. My friend Amelia is really good at explaining this parable. So here's Amelia with a video that she made to help us understand the story and why Jesus thought it was an important one to tell. Today our story is one of Jesus's parables and it comes from the book of Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 13. This story is called the parable of the wise and foolish bridesmaids. Now before we tell this story, let's remember something. Jesus came to earth and he died on the cross, but he rose again. He came back to life and then he went back to heaven to be with God. But before he went to heaven, he told us something. He said that one day he would come back to earth and he would take all the people who have loved and obeyed God back to heaven with him. But we don't know when that day is going to be. We don't know when Jesus is going to come back. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be 100 years from now. Nobody knows when that day is going to be. But that means that we always need to be ready to go to heaven and be with God. And Jesus told this parable, that's our story today, to remind us that we always need to be prepared. We always need to be ready to see Jesus. Well, how do we get ready to see Jesus? What do we need to do? Well, we get ready to see Jesus by obeying God and loving God and doing what he's asked us to do. And this story reminds us to do that. So in the Bible, we read about a time when Jesus was teaching people and he told them this story and it was about a wedding. Now, weddings in Jesus' time were a little bit different than our weddings today, but some things were the same. Just like we have bridesmaids in a wedding today, they had bridesmaids. And so Jesus tells this story and he said that in this wedding there were 10 bridesmaids, 10 bridesmaids. And Jesus said that five of the bridesmaids were wise, but five of the bridesmaids were foolish. And we'll talk about why in just a second. Well, weddings in Jesus' day were different than ours in that they would start at night. And the bridesmaid's job was to help the bride get ready because her groom was going to come to her house and it was going to be in the middle of the night. They didn't know when he was going to get there. So the bridesmaids had to help the bride get ready all day and they were going to wait for the groom to arrive. So the bridesmaids were helping the bride get ready. Well, they needed something to be ready for the groom's arrival. What they needed was a lamp like this one. Now because the groom was going to arrive at night, they needed their lamp so that they would be able to help the bride and groom see each other when the groom got there and when the wedding started. Because the groom was going to come and call for his bride and then she would come out to meet him and all of their friends and family would travel down the street together and they would have the wedding and then there would be a big feast to celebrate. And so these lamps were an extremely important part of the wedding. Now, in our day today, we don't have lamps like this, do we? Because we have electricity. And so all we have to do is flip on a switch and a light will come on in our house. So if it's dark at night in our houses, all we have to do is just flip on a light. But in Jesus' day, they didn't have lights like that. They didn't have electricity. They used lamps like this. These are called oil lamps, and what they would do is take a little lamp, a little jar like this, and fill it with oil, and then they would light it so they would have a little flame to give them light. And each one of the bridesmaids in our story, remember there were ten of them, each one of them 
had an oil lamp with her and she was going to keep that light so when the groom came, everyone could see and they would be ready for the wedding. Now remember I said, Jesus said five of the bridesmaids were wise and five of them were foolish. Well, what made them different? What made some of them wise and what made some of them foolish? Well, five of the bridesmaids just brought their lamps. But the other five brought their lamps and they brought an extra jar of oil with them. Now, why would that be important? Well, they didn't know how long it was going to be before the groom showed up. It could have been all night. They didn't know how long they were going to have to keep their lamps burning. So the wise bridesmaids, they thought ahead. They were prepared. That's why Jesus says that they were wise. They brought extra oil. So in case their lamp started to burn out, they would have extra. They could put some more oil in their lamp and it would keep burning until the groom arrived. They were wise. They made a smart and prepared choice by bringing some extra oil with them. But the other five bridesmaids, they were foolish. They didn't bring any extra oil. They weren't prepared for their lamps to burn as long as they needed to. So here's what happened. The bridesmaids helped their bride to get ready. And after everything was ready, the groom still wasn't there. So they were waiting for him. And as they were waiting, they got kind of sleepy because it was nighttime and they all fell asleep. Well, after they were asleep for a little bit, suddenly somebody outside shouted, the bridegroom is here, the bridegroom has come. And that meant that the groom had come for his bride. He was ready to meet her. He was coming for the wedding. And so the bridesmaids and the bride, they all woke up and they got ready and they were gathering their lamps so they could meet the bridegroom. And suddenly they realized something. The wise bridesmaids' lamps were still going strong and they had their extra oil to make sure they could last. But the foolish bridesmaids' lamps, their lamps had gone out and they didn't know what to do. So they went and they asked the wise bridesmaids, they said, please, please, can we borrow some of your oil? Our lamps have gone out and we don't have any extra oil. We didn't bring any extra oil with us. But the wise bridesmaids said, no, we can't share any of our oil because we need it for our lamps and there's not any extra. We don't have enough for ours and for yours to last all night. You'll have to go and buy some more oil. And so the foolish bridesmaids, they took all their lamps and off they went to see if they could go find any more oil to keep their lamps burning. But while the foolish bridesmaids were gone, the groom arrived and the wise bridesmaids and the bride went out to meet him and all the people came together for the wedding ceremony and they walked into the house and they shut the door. And by the time that the foolish bridesmaids made it back with their new oil, the wedding had already started and they knocked and knocked on the door, but they wouldn't let them in. And the foolish bridesmaids missed the wedding because they weren't prepared. They didn't bring any extra oil with them for their lamps. Now, why did Jesus tell us this story? Remember that at the beginning of our lesson, we said that Jesus wants us to be ready to meet him. Well, he told us this story so that we can know that it's very important that we are prepared any time to go to heaven and meet Jesus. So what does that mean for us today? Well, it means that we always need to be making good decisions every day. We need to always be choosing to obey God, to love God, to obey our mom and dad, to be nice to our brothers and sisters and our friends, to make wise choices, just like the wise bridesmaids. Because making those choices means that we'll be ready for whenever Jesus comes. We'll be prepared to go to heaven with him. And Jesus wanted to remind us that it's very important that we're always ready, that we're always making wise and prepared decisions and choosing to obey. I love how Miss Amelia tells this story. It's a great reminder to be ready. 
Do you remember some of the things that she said we should do to be ready? We've talked about some of them a lot here at Shine. Some things like uh, knowing God by reading the Bible and praying, loving God by putting Him first and obeying Him, and by doing other things that he said we should do, like loving other people and living the Beatitudes. Do you remember those from last week? Ways to be and attitudes to have. These are all great ways to be ready. But we also can't forget about the sacraments. They also help us be ready. The sacraments are very special ways that God shows his love for us. When we receive the sacraments, we receive grace, which is God's life. The sacrament of baptism, for example, makes us a child of God. Confessing our sins and reconciliation helps us to be forgiven when we choose not to put God first. And that's just two of the sacraments. There are seven, and they each have a special way of helping us be ready. I'm going to read that gospel story to you from the Bible. I'm going to light our candle to show that we're ready to hear God's word and as a reminder that he's here with us. Today is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We're back to our green cloth this week for Ordinary Time. Remember last week was white when we celebrated that special feast of all saints. Today we're back to green. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the word of the Lord be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus told his disciples this story about the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened one night when ten girls took their oil lamps and went to a wedding to meet the groom. Five of the girls were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but no extra oil. The ones who were wise took along extra oil for their lamps. The groom was late arriving and the girls became drowsy and fell asleep. Then in the middle of the night, someone shouted, here's the groom, come to meet him. When the girls got up and started getting their lamps ready, the foolish ones said to the others, let us have some of your oil, our lamps are going out. The girls who were wise answered, There's not enough oil for all of us. Go and buy some for yourselves. While the foolish girls were on their way to get some oil, the groom arrived. The girls who were ready went into the wedding and the doors were closed. Later, the other girls returned and shouted, Sir, sir, open the door for us. But the groom replied, I don't even know you. So, my disciples, always be ready. You don't know the day or the time when all of this will happen. The Gospel of the Lord. As brothers and sisters in one loving family, Let's pray together to our Heavenly Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We bring to God's love the Christian family gathered here and throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring to God's love the homeless, the poor, and the unloved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring to God's love those who need to be healed in mind or body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring to God's love all who have died and now rest in everlasting peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
knowing that our Heavenly Father is listening in the silence of our hearts, let us share our unspoken prayers with Him. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, keep us close to your love and always ready for that wonderful day when we will see Jesus face to face. We ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you spend some time with Jesus this week thinking about what you can do to be ready. And I hope you'll join me for one last song to sing. It's called Be Ready. Here we go. Should always watch and pray.